evening, everyone. I'm Dee Griffin. Brad and Jenny have the night off. Coverage you can count on begins with help right in the palm of your hands. A local teen found what she thinks is the solution to lowering sex crimes by developing an app. News Channel 6's Renetta DeBose joins us live with the developing story, and she breaks down how the 17-year-old created the technology she hopes will help. Renetta. D, when many high school seniors are enjoying sporting events or making plans for prom, one is launching her very own cell phone app. Using her love for computers, she's hoping to empower victims. Try to create an app that could actually help people that is actually useful rather than trying to create a game or anything like that. No candy crush for this teen. Anika Kablan, a senior at Davidson Fine Arts High School, has a better plan for what we need to do with our cell phones. Try to lower the risk of sex crimes or being a potential victim of that. Kablan tells News Channel 6 she taught herself how to code at the age of 13. After a few coding courses, she developed Recoup Incorporated. It is a one-stop shop for people who need anything from how to report a sex crime to simply dialing 911. Find hotlines available 24-7. You can look up um, first aid, which basically has a list of the steps you take in order to address a wound, such as bleeding or choking or anything like that, and you can call 911 from there. Kablan tells us the app is developed for anyone, male or female, at any age. But she's hoping younger people, especially college students, download the free app that does not require internet. Local rape crisis counselor Brittany Bing says victims with the app can truly be empowered. This is a crime that is highly underreported because of the stigma. Um, there's a lot of shame and blame. Many people do not know some places, such as rape crisis, is 24 hours. So Bing says the app means they don't have to wait. As for when you can download, Kablan says it's available now for iPhones and Androids very soon. I feel ecstatic. Like, I have the capability to do this, and I could do more. And it's, I just have excitement. Now, when she is not coding, Kablan likes to draw, and college is the next step. She tells me she's eyeing a few schools here in Georgia, Harvard, and MIT. Dee?